Hello, hello guys. Good evening and uh, we are back for the uh, game number two ng ating uh, second series. Five, Liquid up against Gaming Gladiators. So what a performance for uh, Gladiators ng ating uh, game number one. No, Let's see and find out if continuous pa rin ba sila dito on defeating Liquid. 2-0 ba yung mga yari? Or 1-1? Chen Shadowfiend, opening pick for Liquid and Gladiators. We'll be seeing IO Lesh once more. 10 seconds. Radiance turn to ban. The most likely uh, looking towards to remove heroes na possible maka counter out dun sa ating uh, Chen. Yung kanyang uh, Chen army. 10 seconds remain. 5 seconds remain. It is Dyer's ban. Ten seconds remain. Port ban for gaming gladiators ang inaantay natin ngayon. And, uh... Siguro yung pwedeng sumabay sa momentum na gustong gawin ng Liquid. SF Chen ba naman yan? Parang yung ginawa ng Gladiators kanina, di ba? So, maybe try to target out Hero ni Zai. Yung pwedeng mag-build up ng uh, early team fights for Liquid. Pwedeng mag-itemize ng mga utility items. So, Primal Beast is a good start. And who else? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Dyer's turn to ban. So, uh, Darkseer will be removed by Liquid. Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the uh, counter up against Shadowfiend. Mawal mo lang kasi si Shadowfiend. Magkakaroon din seconds. sila ng uh, Presence of the Dark Lord. So, Autumn Reduction yun. Five seconds. Then right click hero din naman si Shadowfiend. Kaya talagang sulit na sulit yung uh, wall of replica ng Darkseer. So that's a good choice for the side of a liquid. Let's see and find out kung ba na pa silang uh, makikita dito. Fifth ban for gaming gladiators ang inaantay natin. And that's gonna be Draw Ranger for the third pick. Early third bleed for Gaming Gladiator. So, possible medyo maging uh, passive kite konte yung Gladiators dito with this third bleed pick. Team Liquid, do they have any answer up against this third bleed? Uh, I'm not sure about Bat Rider kung goods pa si Bat Rider sa game na to. Five seconds remain. Kaya nga, hindi inisip ko boss eh, yung uh, Bat Rider. Bat Rider para kanina. Kay Nisha, magka-shadow fin safe lane sila. Or Bat Rider off lane para kay Zai, up against Starblade. I mean, marami namang options in Team Liquid dito. Pero let's see and find out kung ano yung magiging uh, decision nila dito for their 3rd and 4th pick. Radiant must choose. Ooh, Scarlet Mage. 
So, possible they're mid hero, possible they're support hero. Ayun na naman nakita ko for the Scarlet Mage. Maganda naman yung magic damage since uh, Terror Blade, one of the, uh, hindi pala, siya pala yung highest na base armor hero. So, instead of dealing with his armor, go for magic damage, much better yun. Pero yung problem ko lang talaga ngayon, para sa mga magic damage na heroes, is nagka nagkaroon ako si tayo ng scaling for the magic resistance, every intelligence. Meron increase para sa ating magic resistance. So, parang pagdating na late game, um, hindi na nagiging ganun ka-effective masyado yung uh, magic damage. 10 seconds remain. Si Nisha, oh. I mean, nagbabatrider naman si Nisha. Hindi lang masyado binibigay. Pero nung time na nasa secret siya, binibigay naman siya ng batrider nung time na yun. So, Pangolier will be picked by Liquid and a quick Blood Seeker for the set of gaming gladiators. Now, I love the Blood Seeker pick. One way for you to deal with the uh, Pangolier. So this is possibly their offlane hero for the side of gaming gladiators. Ten seconds. Five seconds. It is Dio's ban. Radiant turn to ban. So next ban for liquid ang inaantay natin. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Mirana will be the uh, next ban. Gaming Gladiators. Ano ba iniisip nila dito? Ano ba magiging role ng Shadow Fiend? Ano ba magiging role ng Pangolier? Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Radiance turn to pick. So Ursa got banned out. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Dyer's turn to pick. Alchemist. Alchemist pick for the side of Team Liquid. So I'm not sure about the uh, role for the Alchemist this game. Uh, probably their position seconds. one hero and then Shadow Fiend mid. Yung mga yari dito for Liquid. So. Tigan natin kung panabi magiging approach ng Alchemist. Is it gonna be Regent's build? Spirit Breaker will be the last pick for Gaming Gladiators. So, interesting drop for both sides. As you go in terms of momentum, I think I'm gonna go for Liquid. I mean, uh, I do love Chen for this patch. Dahil nga sa changes ng ating uh, neutrals, talagang uh, naging okay naman yung mga merong controlled units. So, nag scale up din na yung mga neutrals natin. Nag-level up na rin sila. Kaya nagiging popular din yung mga Chen. And kung ma-execute naman to properly ng uh, Liquid, pwede naman nila matapos agad yung game. 
Well, tignan natin kung paano ba yung magiging approach ng Alchemist. I think that's one of the biggest factor kung paano ba yung gustong gawin ng Alchemist dito sa game ito. For the Shadow Fiend, given naman yan, uh, talagang right click build naman din yung gagawin niya ng Shadow Fiend. So for Alchemist this game, ayun yung parang uh, medyo clueless tayo kung mag regions ba siya. Which is possible mas slow down yung kanyang timing dahil matagal-tagal niya pa-farmin pa yung regions. Or is going for those armlet, assault keras, ganun na itemization tulad ng ginawa na kanina ng Alchemist. Pero Alchemist mid yun. So this time, Alchemist safe lane, baka possible mag regions nga lang siya dito sa game to. So, tamang antay na lang tayo mag-start yung mismong game. Yun lang naman, na. So here we go for the game number 2 ng ating uh, second series. So mag-play agad para sa side ng Liquid. Tignan natin kung maunaan ba nila dito sa positioning yung gaming gladiators. Possible ba sila makasecure ng first blood. Available naman yung mga blood grenades. So it's one of the few changes na nagkaroon nga tayo ng blood grenade ngayon. Sobrang goods niya in terms of getting a kill sa mga early stage pa lang ng game. Slow DPS na rin at the same time, di ba? Just for 50 gold, I think. Hindi ko lang kung magkana ito, pero sobrang worth niya. Now, a wraparound play for the side of uh, Liquid. But they'll be spotted. And then yung super rewards for the side of uh, Gladiators. Not looking good. Good thing for Gladiators, it's just Tofu alone for this bottom lane. So, di naman nila makakounter out itong ginawa ng Liquid na wraparound. Mukhang uh, tamang secure lang naman tayo ng mga bounty runes. Yun lang yung possible mangyari ngayon. Kaya wala naman masyado na magkakakontest nandito. Concussion shot and a stable concussion. Ace will be brought down. Red but secured para kay Nisha. So that's a good start for Liquid. Shadow Finch yung nakakuha ng first blood. So uh, a possible early battle para sa ating... Shadow Finch. Yeah, blood right. Na iba tapara naman yung stun. Over to Ace. Concussive shot available naman. Hitting two heroes. And the slow kicks in. Trying to pressure the blood seeker. Wala pa naman siyang pang sustain sa sarili niya. Dahil uh, blood right yung unang naging skill point ng blood seeker dito. Lapas yung thirst. So maybe, uh. Trying to get that level 2. Boxy's courier has been taken out by Tofu. And now over to Ace. God right, stun. Available naman. They have the rotation from the Chen. Pero mga mabubuhay pa rin naman si Ace dito. Wala na silang skill. Pero para kay Boxy, getting out position. Tofu, not gonna be so lucky for the Greater Bash. Siguro kahit isang Greater Bash lang. Patay na dapat dun yung uh, Scarlet Mage. Minala si uh, Tofu dun. Isa lang sana yung kailangan niya. So, para kay Boxy, tamang si Wizard na naman sa neutral. Yeah, much faster for him. Para lang uh, makapag-refill ng kanyang HP. Uh, 
So, wala siyang free teleportation kapag uh, neutral yung nakapatay. Kaya yung iba sa tower nila pinipiling uh, magpakamatay nila. Do nagkakaroon ng gold yung opponent mo, even nga lang naman, split lang naman yun. Charge over to the alchemist. Miki dito, still will be fine. Ilaman mo to overextend. Pero now, over to Nisha, Queen. Dropping low, and that's gonna be kill secured for the Shadowfin. So, another kill for Nisha. Para sa mid lane matchup. Looking good for the early stages. Zai. And finally, Boxy joins in to help out Zai. Was that Ring of Felt? Yep, Ring of Felt available na para sa Pangolder. Regeneration given. And base up. And back on farming ulit para sa magkabilang team. So, uh, bottom lane, Insignia will manage to escape. Unstable Concussion throws over to Tofu. Tofu dito getting low. Pero wala naman silang enough follow-up dito for them to finish him off. And uh, for the Bloodseeker, he's running fast. Courier taking down. That was Zai's Courier. Repent. And uh, finally on the bot lane, nagkabigayan dito. Insania dead, but same goes with Tofu. Uh -oh. And over to the Scarlet Mage. Box dito, getting low. One more Rectic for Celery, and uh, that's enough for them to finish him off. Boxy goes down. For Nisha, he's winning the mid lane matchup. Level 5 up against level 4. Pangolier taken out by Dracchio. Ano gamit kong mic? Uh, sa Razor. Yung headset ng Razor. Ano bang model neto? <laughs> Kala kalimutan ko yung model ng Razor ko. Lesh, aabuta naman dito. And here comes the charge coming in for Tofu. On its way, para saan? Scarlet Mage? Yep, sasagasaan pa rin naman yung Scarlet Mage dito. Tether in pala kay Celery. Now, the question is, will they continue to take this fight? Maybe they want to, pero Nisha doesn't have any mana right now. So, disengage lang naman for Liquid. Ay, ay, yung sa ito nga, yung binili ko, ay yung kasi yung review nila. Parang mas maayos yung mic na to compared sa other model ng uh, Razer headset. So, yun lang naman. Nakalimutan ko, Barracuda ata. Ay, di, di, alam ko, hindi Barracuda. Hindi <laughs> ko alam, boss. Taga lang. Kita ko na yung box eh. Kailangan ko lang... Ayun! Yung... Black Shark. Yung Black Shark na version 2 Pro. Yung yung gamit kong headset ngayon. Well, Terra Blade! Nabigyan na nga ni Boxy. While well, I was checking the backs. So, yep. Black Shark version 2 Pro. Yung gamit kong headset ngayon. So 6 minutes in, almost 7, 4-4 yung score, 1k lead for Gladiators.
Oh, biglang nakarecover dito yung Gladiators. And actually, Lesh, parang na-outfarm niya na si Nisha ngayon. Let's check the network. Di naman. Rupture over to Insania. They even have the charge to interrupt his teleportation. Make a detail with the stable concussion. Tama naman over to Tofu. But the same goes over to the Alchemist itself. They have the control. Brother coming in. Tofu dito. Will manage to escape. And now, better over to Queen. Ito yung uh, annoying part. I.O. Lesh. Medyo mahirap patayin si Lesh kapag I.O. yung isa sa kasama niya. Grabe yung sustain. Speaking of I.O., it's one way for you to deal with this kind of combination. Aim the I.O. first, but Anisha dito gonna pop his ultimate. Finally, we'll be able to drop down the Spirit Breaker. Two dead for the side of Gaming Gladiators. Nisha turning that fight around with his ultimate used. Level 2 pa lang yung necromancer niya. So, di pa ganun kataasan yung kanyang uh, soul. Just for the extra fear and damage na lang din yun. And damatay pa nga yung Spirit Breaker because of it. Insane niya closing in for his mech. So, ito yung possible mag-enable for the side of Liquid. Kapag available yung sustain given ng Chen. Siguro, yung best timing is kapag level 6 na rin yung Chen. Para meron pa silang extra heal yung Hand of God. Now, continuous pa rin naman sa pagka-farm dito si Dracchio. And para kay uh, Zai, he went for Vanguard. Just typical approach for an offlane hero. Hindi naman natin usually nakita yung early Vanguard for Pangolier. Pero para kay Zai, unahin niya yung Vanguard dito since offlane siya. And uh, para mas makalin siya na maayos up against Turblade, that is given. Going for Arcane Boots afterwards. Rapture comes in. Over to Insania once more. They have the charge. Blood Rage for the follow-up. Will be able to bring him down. Now, unstable concussion. Stuns up the Blood Seeker. And para kay Tofu, just trying to escape from the Alchemist. And mukhang mamatay pa naman siya sa Arcane Bolt in Boxy. That's gonna be a kill secured. 9 minutes in. 1k lead pa rin naman for Gladiators. Here comes the rest of the heroes from Gladiators. Queen and Celery looking for opportunity to take the fight for the bot lane. Better for the Io. And here comes Queen joining the fight. Split Earth. Not gonna connect. And Ace Dito is gonna be in trouble. They don't have the damage for this. But away pa naman si Ace. Thanks to Io sustain. So going for Mass of Madness in Shadow Fiend. Dyer should look to their bottom tower. Attack speed. Damage. Not in life still. Wala pa naman siyang point sa kanyang uh, Presence of the Dark Lord. So, hindi pa na-amplify masyado yung dam physical damage siya dito. Wala pang armor reduction. Eh. And now, that's gonna be uh, double damage secured para kay Queen. Not the best power rune for Alesh. Kasi hindi naman, bira naman siya to might click pagdating sa mga teamfights. Gusto lang naman niya isbabato yung kanyang spell. Pero doable naman to for their early stages. Mataas yung... Uh, Napa provide the double damage since wala pa armor and HP. And now it's gonna be Queen in trouble after killing the Chen. He's getting surrounded by the Alchemist and the Scarlet Mage. Queen to follow with the Shadow Rays from Nisha. Takes him out. Celebrito is probably next with Zai's rotation. Gonna take down two right now for the set of Gladiators. 10 minutes in. 9 7 yung score natin dito. Less than 1k for Gladiators. should look to their top tower. Radiant have fortified their structures against attack. So charge coming in over to the Pangolier. Zydita will be brought down. They have the control and damage. Pangolier out. Possible push coming in for Gladiators. Tier 1 top tower goes down. Saktong sakto pa sa catapult. And metamorphosis usage ng ating Turblade. Yeah, early objective secured for Gladiators. And hindi yung usually nakikita nating uh, tower na nakukuha. Yung safe lane hero, safe lane yung uh, na nakakuha ng tower dito. Usually sa may off lane tayo napupunta eh, pagdating sa mga ganyan 10 minute objective. So, meaning to say, talagang okay yung lane ni Dracchio. Ganun lang kasimple yan. Hindi siya na-contest ng Pangolier. Instead, siya yung nagpa-provide ng pressure sa kanyang lane. Usually off lane yung nagpa-provide ng pressure. And uh, for Mickey, he's going for regions para sa kanyang first item choice. And now, 
is being controlled. He pops his ultimate. Is it gonna be enough to heal himself? I don't think so. Gwyn will manage to escape. Another Arcane Bolt coming in. Kaya ba siyang sustain the celery? That's the question. Yes, he can. Nabuhay pa nga si Gwyn. And I think that was Raindrop. Okay. Natakbo ni Gwyn. Naantay niyang mag-cooldown yung Raindrop niya. Which is one reason kung bakit nabuhay pa siya dun. Two heroes down for Liquid. Trick advantage now for Gladiators. Invisibility rune para kay Nisha. This might be a... Opportunity to get a Requiem connecting in. But do they have the damage? Charge coming in para kay Tofu. There goes the slow. One more Shadow Rays is needed, but he's out of mana. He's going for the right click, but not enough to bring down Ace, unfortunately. They have the shield bonus. Ace will be alive. Not Tofu, of course. You know, but pa rin naman si Tofu at the end. But yung path is provided para kay Ace. Just keeping him safe. Making sure na hindi siya makamatay dun. Big advantage pa rin naman for Gladiators. And here comes Liquid, trying to push the bottom power. And it's a something next time. Yeah, for the bot lane, Split Earth connects in over to Insignia. Insignia Dito dropping low. And looks like they have the damage for this Insignia. Blue Pong. Mech available na rin para sa Ayo. And Radicate Play over to Nisha. Yeah, gonna pop the Madness. He got ruptured. The controls were there from the Spirit Baker. But same goes with Twin. He goes down. Sadal Dito. Not gonna make it. Available na sana yung relocate out niya, pero inabot pa rin siya. Although Zai is waiting for the mid lane, if ever man na uh, makapag-relocate out pa rin siya. Ay, nice. Talagang uh, patay pa rin naman siya. At the Now, rolling talaga kamilit para kay Zai. Just leave it on the bot lane. It's over to Ace. Pavis again will be given to the uh, Bloodseeker. Ang lalo ka rin si Pavis. Seryoso. Yeah, this time, namatay pa rin naman yung uh, Bloodseeker. is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Okay, advantage for the side of Gladiators. Medyo nakaka-recover naman kahit pa paano yung Liquid. In terms of net worth, kumahabol sila thanks to Alchemist. Alam naman natin. Sobrang bliss mag-farm ng hero na to, thanks to his uh, Gribble's Greed. Alam natin meron na siyang regions. So it's gonna be much faster. Kaya talagang uh, unti-unting uh, magka-climb up yung network dito ng Liquid. Pero it won't change the result na... ...talamang yung Liquid dito. No. Gladiators keeping up with the farm. Talagang given dapat na pagkating sa network advantage, lumamang dapat yung Liquid dito. So nasa kanilang nga. Parang hindi pa naman uh, Galikado dito yung Gladiator Lalo na tumaparig pa nalang yung Alchemist And suddenly 2k advantage Para sa Gladiator Ito rin yung problem ni Alchemist Ang laki ng gold na binibigay niya Pag siya yung namamatay So If mayaman ka na Ikaw na yung top network for the Alchemist You need to be careful Hindi pwedeng makuha ka ng mga basta-basta Dahil grabe yung gold yung napapabite Yeah, that was 400 gold given to Ace. And now that Dito, the save, sustain coming in for Thurbley. Thunder over to the Ayo. Ayo Dito is gonna be the one to beat Trouble instead. He'll be brought down, but they managed to save the Rakyo. But losing two right now, included pa nga Dito si Queen. Disengage lang muna for the side of Liquid. It's not a good fight. Losing two right now. Back on farming lang muna Dito para sa side ng gaming gladiators. But at least naligtas na din Thurbley. Mid tower goes down. Lush. Bloodstone available naman na. Cooldown reduction lang naman yung ginagawa sa Bloodstone. Ay, cooldown talaga. Yung duration ng Blood Pack. Yun lang naman yung ginagawa sa kanya. So, same pa rin naman siya ng lifesteal. Yung duration lang. And actually, yung component pala. Alam ko iba na yung component ng Bloodstone. Iba na ba? Ay, yung Octa rin pala yung iniisip ko. For Bloodstone, nagkana ba tayong changes for the component? Same pa rin naman. Yung Octarine Core pala yung nagbago, sorry. Nawala na yung Aether Lens for Octarine Core. Yung pa naman yung gusto gusto ko sa Octarine. Parang fit na fit nga yung Aether Lens eh. Nawala na naman tuloy tayo ng ano. Parang upgrade para sa Aether Lens. Wala, casual Aether Lens na naman, just like before.
Well, Rose Dawn. But it's out of liquid. Age is secured para kay Nisha. There is little hope for Radiant's middle tower. Radiant should look to their middle tower. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Eighteen minutes, fifteen, fourteen. Yung score, diket yung laban natin ngayon. Pero possible next team fight, advantage goes to Liquid. Dahil ng dalawa yung buhay dito ng Shadowfiend. Meron siyang ages. And continuous pa rin naman sa item progression dito yung SF. And eto yung gusto ko rin na run ngayon, yung shield run. Kano mo talaga yun? Nakapaglaro na ako ng patch ngayon eh. Actually guys, di pa ako nakapaglaro kahit isang beses ng patch natin ngayon. Yung new patch natin. Pero... Ano rin to? Parang... Sobrang ganda nito for the late game. Itong shield rune. Pag mataas na yung mga HP ng heroes. Para siyang double damage. In a way, na yung double damage of course, offensive rune. Dito naman defensive naman tayo. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So usually, pag late game, di ba? Parang double damage yung pinaka the best. Now, kung yung mga hero mo is hindi mag-benefit sa double damage, then possible shield rune yung isa sa pwede mong antayin. Though maganda rin yung pinakita nalang changes for the power rune, na never uulit yung power rune unless lumabas na lahat. So parang pito ata yung rune natin ngayon. So, meaning to say, kung pito ah, kung tama akong pito yung power rune natin, Every 14 minutes, bago na mabas ulit yung panibagong, I mean, yung uulit na rune. So, kung sakaling may nakita kang double damage, naka-double damage kalaban mo, expected mo na na for a 14 minutes, walang makakuha ng double damage. Yung mga ganong way, sense. I mean, small details, pero it helps sometimes. So back on farming lang tayo sa magkabil ng team. So masabay pa rin naman sa farm dito yung gladiators up against alchemists. It's an alchemist position one, pero parang di pa rin nalalayo yung network dito. Yung alchemist, yung network ni alchemists, yes, medyo lumalayo naman up against terrorblade, pero yung whole network ng team. Excuse me. It's just less than 1k. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oh, at this point, Gladiators will be the one to smoke up, Nisha. Na shadow blade dito. Might be able to scout them out first, but I'm gonna keep it for the main Gladiators. Might have an idea. Na nandito yung heroes ng Liquid. They did smoke after all. Topolito will be spotted. The Quick Silence Mystic Flare. But they have this barb to make sure the damage is not going to be enough to finish up the Squid Baker. But they have the Arcanist joining in. Fighting in. Blinks in forward. Pops the BKB for BK. Trying to disengage. Queen with the BKB and Bloodstone. Looking to run them down. But they don't have any disable yet. And now, pop the Rift Rift para Kinesha. With two connects in. Bringing down the IO first, doesn't have any buyback, but the Spirit Baker will be using his Thor Bleed is just free hitting from the back line. Going for Mikke, can you block him down? That's the question. Mikke is surviving throughout this fight. Finally, he goes down. And now, 
now for the Shadow Fiend. Nisha still has the Aegis. Will be taken out as well. 3 for 3 pa lang naman tayo dito. And for the second light, Nisha. Boxy is giving out the trouble. Shadow races from Nisha. Nice silence over to the third bleed. But wala pa rin naman siya Sander in time na yun. So, still. Big win for the side of Liquid. And Aegis, sabi ko. Kahit sabihin natin, halos same lang naman yung network dito. Bakit kay SF lang? Oo oh, nga no, kay SF lang babin eh. Hindi ko nilam sa camera man natin eh. Hindi ako yung nagkocontrol ng camera boss. So huwag ka sa akin magalit. Twenty-three minutes at ayad dito. Charge coming in para kay Toku. Yeah, tamang farm naman sa neutral. So ngayon nagkaroon na ng uh, advantage kada pa na yung liquid in terms of net worth. Four key lead. Pinakuha nila after that fight. Uy! Ano yun? Yung item na yun? Hanapin nga natin yun. Ito yung bagong item ngayon eh. Yeah, Pag-ibig okay naman siya sa Skyrat Mage. Pang support to eh. Hindi naman siya yung sobrang expensive na item. Twenty-four minutes is the game. Nothing going on, and it's five k lead for the side of Liquid. And Rolling Thunder comes in over to the left. Dash Tito will be taken out instantly. So that was a quick pickup for the side of Liquid. And now begin another look at screen. And now Dracio manning up third bleed metamorphosis over to Boxy. Boxy Tito will be taken down. Blood right. Not gonna connect onto anybody but a Mickey Dito, but a nice BKB Yosh from uh, Diracchio dodging those kills from the side of Liquid. And now they're ready to run them down with a BKB from Diracchio, Tether again from the IO, Charge coming in. BKB has been blocked by Mickey at the same time, until the concussion will be thrown over to the Blood Bloodseeker and the Spirit Waker. Diracchio, 1v1 up against Nisha, but Nisha is getting controlled heavily. The BKB here right now is gonna be disturbably. And there's nothing Liquid can do about this. Well, as long as we have SF, and even Chen getting chased out by Ace, make it three dead in total for the side of Liquid, mga boss. Four pala, sorry. Nabuhay na lang dito si uh, Boxy. Yeah, I mean another recovery naman dito for gaming gladiators. Back and forth yung nangyayari sa game natin yun. Kalagabe, I mean third bleed. Malapit na sa kanyang uh, ano to? Ano ba buhay niya sa Daedalus? Ay, sa Demon Edge. Is it Daedalus? Mukhang mag-Daedalus agad dito yung Terror Blade. So, grabbing damage output niya. And now, over to Mickey. Mickey dito. Getting controlled. They have the reflection. So, meron din agents dito. Yung uh, Gladiators. And that's Alchemist dead for 50. No buyback. Ano ba buhay niya sa Daedalus? Now, ultimate para kay Nisha, controlling the Stir Blade, rolling counter for the follow-up. It got ruptured, but on the new sustain given from the Ayo Thunder, swap the HP from Nisha. Nisha Dito is falling though, he needs to be careful. And now, continues pa rin naman, will be able to bring down Nisha finally. Goes for the Pangolier, Pangolier goes down as well. No buyback again with his three core heroes for the side of Liquid and going for the push. Gladiator suddenly managed to turn this fight around. They're now up 5k lead. And makakakuha pa sila ng set of racks for the mid lane. Alchemist is about to spawn. Medyo malabong madepensa ng Alchemist though without the Pangolier and Shadow Fiend. So continuous lang naman dito yung Gladiators. Good thing, meron pa sila mga tier 2 towers. So hindi makakadiretso dito yung Gladiators for the next objective. Possible tier 2 na lang yung pupuntaan nila dito sa may top lane. On its way. Tier 2 top tower goes down. Solar Crest para sa Eye of Grabe. Buff kung buff lang sa, sa Terror Blade. Parang simple rin yung ginawa ng Gladiators dito. Just like the game number one. 
parang for, for protect one pa rin yung nangyari. Turblade Metamorphosis used. Goes for the third tower. Wala pang soul dito yung Shadow Fiend. Dalawang bet siyang namatay. Nawala nakukuwang soul. 12 souls only for the asset. So, kailangan nyo muna clear ng creep wave. Getting more souls. More damage. Pero wala siyang ultimate dito. Same goes with Zai. And uh, Gladiators. Will they continue? Mukhang uh, time to disengage para sa Gladiators. Hindi na nila ipipilit tong basagan yung uh, Milirax. Oh, hang on. nag stay pa rin naman dito yung Gladiators. Maybe they want to go back. Acid Spray for the Armor Reduction. Reflection. Reaccio. Gonna try and destroy Nisha. Nisha falling low will be taken. What did Reaccio? As simply as that. He goes down. The damage is too much coming up from the Terror Blade. And now Metamorphosis finally goes in. Pero mamatay pa rin naman dito yung Scanet Mage. Three heroes dead. And GG has been called. That's it. Gleaming Gladiators. Winning the game once again. Winning the series once again. Up against Liquid. Diracchio with his third bleed. Yun lang. Solid mag-carry ni Diracchio dito, boss. Kanina Medusa. And now his third bleed. One of the biggest uh, factor is about Diracchio sa kanyang performance. Alam niya kung kailan siya sasama sa teamfight. Alam niya kung kailan hindi. Alam niya rin yung gagawin niyang itemization kung sino magiging ideal target, yung positioning. Doon nag-shine si Diracchio eh. Never, I mean, bihin natin makita ng ma-out position si Diracchio wherein siya yung nagiging uh, nakakontrol talaga ng Team Liquid, nakakite down. Parang free hit dagis si Diracchio sa mga team fights and doon siya nag -e excel And uh, as a result, Gaming Gladiators dito managed to snatch the uh, game. Lumamang na Team Liquid pero hindi pa rin naging enough. Diracchio dito with his third lead. Just carrying the game for his team. And that's gonna be it for the second series. 2-0 tayo mga boss. We'll break tayo for the third one after the short break. Thanks so much for watching and be right back tayo.